Well, great, and thank you. Um, I'm Craig Spiesel with the Online Trust Alliance. We're a nonprofit organization that is really excited because today we're actually unveiling what we call the IoT Trust Framework, really baseline recommendations for companies and device manufacturers to enhance the security, privacy, and long-term sustainability of the devices, applications, and the data that they collect. And how has the uh, response been to such a framework? It, it's been tremendous. Uh, first of all, it's a very wide range of stakeholders have been involved. Some of the major uh, retailers in the nation, uh, one of the largest school districts, the National Association of Realtors, and technology companies such as AVG Technology, really been leading the way to help shape and develop what we believe are very sound, pragmatic, and practical principles to help enhance online trust. And why should companies adopt this framework? What are the benefits to companies? Well, I think there's, you know, reasons for adoption are really key in three or four areas. One, it's all about the consumer and trust. And it's, again, you want customers to come back, you want to use your products over and over. And if they can't trust your technology and your data practices, that's a major concern. It also means your brand as a company, your brand gets tarnished. Um, and the lack of principles, it also, I think, will bring on regulation or the threat of innovation, or threat of regulation that could also innovate, uh, impact innovation. So at the end of the day, we're really looking for thought leaders, companies that want to step up to the plate and make privacy and security part of their brand and value proposition. What are some obstacles to doing that? What are some challenges that you've seen and that you expect to face? You know, obstacles in any uh, area um, range between a company. In some cases, it's awareness. Um, companies are just so focused on the end game, trying to get a product out there. Do they have the time? You know, my background, I was at Microsoft for 14 years, <clears throat> and we saw a real sea change of making privacy and security part of that initial discussion of how a product was going to work. To add privacy and security on after a fact and bolt it on is costly and, and not very effective. So one of it's awareness and do it at the start. I think the other part is the value of it. Uh, companies, uh, I think there are some companies out there that t right now that think data is king and they're building a business strategy not necessarily understanding those issues. And last but not least is cost. Companies that may not want to put the cost in there and you know that may be a valid issue for them, but it also may mean they should not play in the game because there's basic security and privacy that we as, as technology leaders, as, as pro consumer product companies, must adopt to protect consumers and our brand and literally the critical infrastructure we rely on today.